Okay, so today we're going to do a new project um, preparing us for post-processing our images that we get from the Sea Star. Now, I previously did a video about downloading Cyril into the computer. So if you uh, need to start there, you may want to start by downloading Cyril because what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to add scripts to Cyril. And so what a script is, is it's a sequence of keystrokes or commands or instructions that will run as a sequence so that you don't have to type them all in individually. Back in my day using uh, word processing software, we called them macros. And so it's kind of the same thing where you push one key and it tells it to do A, B, C, D, and E, or however many. But um, that's what a script is, is it's telling us the computer program to do these certain steps so that I don't have to do them all individually. And so what we're going to do is show you how to add those scripts to Cyril. I'm going to launch Cyril here. You remember that black screen comes up and then it, it disappears and then it takes a minute. So so just be patient as it loads. Some computers are slow, slower than others and so that little delay can be longer and if it's long sometimes you feel like the program is broken or something went wrong and you're clicking all over the place. Well that's just adding to the usage of your RAM memory on your computer which slows it down. And so just be aware that when you first launch Serial, I'll close it out again and show you again. When you first launch Serial, that black screen comes up, then there's a delay, and then all of a sudden it pops up. Um, over here in Serial, you'll, you'll see right here in the middle of the screen, it's, it's part of that process of loading Serial, it's loading those scripts. And so right here it's telling you that they're up to date. Well, that doesn't mean that it's gone out and searched for new ones and added them in an update. What it's telling you is what's currently on Cyril in your scripts folder are up to date. Now in Cyril, there's this blue box up here at the top that says scripts. And if you click on that, it shows you the different kind of script files. Well, the ones that we're going to deal with today are these Cyril script files. And you see that just from downloading Cyril, these have automatically populated here. But we're going to add some additional, an additional one today. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this screen and then we're going to open the Cyril scripts. Now what, what this site is, is it's a, a repository where people programmers or people who have created these scripts load them up into this GitLab. That's the name of the the website where they put them and they all upload them up to there and they offer them out so other people can use them. And so this is kind of, uh, it's just a repository where people put them. Um, I don't think that the scripts have been verified so there's no, you know, like guarantee that they're going to run or, you know, it's just like if I were to create a script, me being an, a non-professional person, just somebody sitting in my living room, typed up something that was useful for me. I made a script of something that I'm going to do in Cyril. I could upload it onto this site. And so you do have to exercise a little bit of caution here. But um, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. I don't know. You don't want to download suspicious things. But a lot of the things that I, I do is I watch this last update over here in this right-hand column. And it tells me how long ago they were updated. And then um, I know that if they're still on here and haven't been reported, that they're probably fairly safe. So this is a gitlab.com and what I've done is I have navigated to the free astro portion of the GitLab and the Cyril scripts 
and that's right up here in this address and I'll put that in the video or in the description somewhere so that you can type it out and, and log in but when I go in here to the serial strips scripts sorry you see down here there's a whole bunch of different things here and the one that I want to deal with is the pre-processing because that's what I want to do is I want to download uh, scripts that's going to tell the serial how to process my C star files because if you've done anything with post processing with C star files you know that the C star only saves the lights of folders or the files and so it, it merges the darks and the biases and the flats all into this lights file and so it's only using the fits file and so what we need to do to access those in serial because serial separates them all out so that you can do some post processing and enhance each individual layer and so we need to now get all of those the flats and the biases and the dark frames out and individualize them so serial can process them separately so that we can remove stars or we can remove the background or we can darken the background or lighten the bias or you know we can separate those out and do a more fine tuning onto the processing and so what we're going to download today is if you scroll down in this list we're going to do this one the osc pre-processing without the darks bias and flats this script is the one that we're going to use that tells Cyril how to process the C star files. Now that I've located that, all I have to do is double click on that. It comes up here, um, updating, uh, let's see, what is, the, uh, if you scroll down, it does tell you a little bit about it. Um, it it's all written kind of in a code for programmers. Um, but it does tell you here that the script is for color camera pre-processing. Uh, it needs a set, one set of raw images in the working directory, which are the lights that we talked about. And that's what the C star saves is the lights file. And so that's what this is going to do is it's going to, um, let allow Cyril to interpret that lights file and separate it into its darks, bias, flats, etc. It's going to do that. So now this that we know this is the one that we want to do, we're going to click this little download icon right here in the right hand side in the center. Click download. You'll see it downloading up here. It may take a few minutes. I recently upgraded my computer and that's part of why I'm doing these videos is because I'm loading everything onto the new computer and I happen to buy one with a lot of RAM. So my computer processes things very fast and so it, it does it right here. So there's that OSE pre-processing without DBF and you just don't see all the file name. And I had done it previously just to make sure that I, I remembered the process before I tried recording a video. That's why you see two here. But um, this is that file. If I, um, in the previous video, I showed you how to go back and forth to find these files in case that window disappears and you can't click on that pop-up window, you can always pop, click on this download thing and then it will give you the recent history and that's that top one. Another way to get there is go into your file um, icon down here, the file explorer, and then you come over here on the left and you can click on that download folder over here on the left and then it shows you what has been downloaded in the downloads folder. And there's that OSC pre-processing without DBF. That is the script. And so now we know that we've got the script, we can close out that uh, website. So we're going to reopen Cyril. 
Now when we go up here into the scripts folder and the serial scripts files, we do not see it yet because we haven't really added it. All we've done is download it to the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize that and then we're going to go back over here and find that file. So we click on the downloads folder and this this very top one OSC preprocessing without DBF. I'm going to highlight it by clicking on it once and then I'm going to copy that file. You could also cut that file and paste it where we're going to paste it, but I like to copy it just so it doesn't disappear until I'm sure that everything is running properly. Now what we need to do is add this file to the serial software on the computer. And so, because we need to add that to serial so that that scripts button at the top in serial will find this file. It doesn't know to go out and look at the downloads folder on your computer. And so to do this, we just click on my, this PC. There's a local C drive. We click on that. And now we're going to click on the program files because that's where serial is saved. And we see serial, the software serial was downloaded to our computer and is saved right here. So we're going to double click on that to open it. And inside the serial folder, you see this folder called scripts. And you're going to double click on that to open it. And you see those names look really familiar because we saw them in serial when we were clicking on that blue button that said scripts up at the top. These are the ones that were listed there. So now we're going to click somewhere in the white here and then hit your control key and a V and it's asking me to provide uh, saying that I have permission to do this and now I pasted that file that we downloaded today into here. So now you see there's an additional full scripts file in the serial software and it's called OSC preprocessing without DBF. And so now we can close that. Now if we go to serial, we think, okay, we're all done. Well, we're not, because if you click on the scripts and it comes up here, you see it still only has those first ones that we had. That's because we need to restart serial in order for it to reload those because remember when it first loaded, it checked for those scripts and it told us right here in green that they were all up to date. Well, it checks that every time. Well, we did that before we added that file to the serial software. And so we now need to close serial and then we just reload it. And it takes that brief second while it loads. And now it's loading and you see right here, it's looking in the repository and making sure all those scripts are up to date. And now if we clip on, click on the scripts tab and serial, now we see that file right here in serial. So that is how we get that scripts file into serial. And there are other scripts then possibly in the future we'll be adding some more. But for now, this is the one that's going to help us to add the files into serial and stack them. So that's what this one is going to do for us. And so that will be a different video. I want to do all these videos step by step because not everybody needs every single step every single time. So I'm going to separate the videos out into little processes. And so this video is about adding those scripts into Cyril. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. If you find it helpful, consider subscribing. We're going to be doing some more. Um, we appreciate all of those who watch our videos and make it worth our time to, to create them. And we're wishing clear skies for everybody. And we're appreciative and thankful for all that watch the videos. Thanks for watching.